General Electric introduced this radio in 1957, saying, plays up to 10,000 hours without changing batteries. Remember that in the 1950s, rechargeable nickel cadmium batteries were at their popularity peak. The 715, 716 and the 1958 P765 and 66 are regarded as the first rechargeable pocket radios. They had more unique features such as a cabinet made from extruded and anodized aluminum and several parts made for GE by Park Nameplate Company in Dover, New Hampshire from so-called thin plates again anodized aluminum. Note the little trick to position the ferrite loop antenna outside this aluminum shell. In contrast to the two Philips radios for sale, this radio is not very service friendly. It takes nine but well documented steps to get to the chassis. The radio is known to not play very loud and normally the excuse is that it runs on a battery with only 2.4 volts. The truth is that it runs very well once three electrolytic and always leaky capacitors made by Nashville are replaced. Convince yourself and ignore the kids playing in the background. And actually they tell out a prophetic story. And we were going uphill when we came to Psalm 8. Roy, uh, Jordan Speed, and even Jason Day. And Jason Day, we had a cultural history of the 12 step recovery. Of course, the pound 730. <laughs> Fletcher reports he's now started a petition seeking to overturn the city's bylaw. Many homeowners drink. Deploy more of his resources on Saturday in Portland. In the air, dropping water onto the flames. We're feeling some ground. 